One of the most popular panel tests for looking at tumor DNA changes is the Foundation One CDX test. This is a Boston-based company, Foundation Medicine, that has one of the first FDA-approved tests that can be used to analyze approximately 400 different genes that are important for cancer. Looking at gene, DNA variations, looking at deletions, amplifications, extra copies of genes, as well as gene fusions that may have occurred uh, that could be therapeutically relevant. Now, getting a foundation medicine report and being able to interpret it and turn it into a therapy for your patient is not an obvious and trivial exercise. There is extra work that is needed, extra expertise that, that could be used to really uh, accomplish this goal. I want to walk you briefly through the Foundation One CDX report to allow you to understand more quickly what is there and what is not there for the patient. Firstly, there's a listing of the companion diagnostic. These are FDA approved gene drug relationships uh, that are found in the prescribing recommendations for a given drug. And this allows you to understand things that are on label, if you will, um, and can be used in that way. Next up are DNA variations, again, point mutations, copy number changes, gene fusions that will be of relevance to known FDA approved drugs uh, that then can be applied, sometimes needing an extra push to get the insurance company to agree to pay for them, but allowing you to at least think about these therapeutic options. There's also data available on the tumor mutational burden, as well as the microsatellite status of a given tumor. This is looking more broadly across the tumor and trying to understand how many variants are found across the, the tumor, so-called neoantigens that have been formed. And this has relevance to the response that a patient may receive from an immunotherapy drug, such as a PD-1 inhibitor or a PDL one inhibitor. The microsatellite instability is, is also looking at whether there are repeats in the genome that are extending beyond what you would normally expect because of DNA variation in the genes that support the integrity of, of, the, uh, of the genome. And so this allows you to, to go in and say, are these variants present? And then be able to use that information for using immunotherapy. Another section that's found within the report looks across the tumor at the variations that are occurring and looking at their overall impact on the therapeutic choices that one could make for a given patient. So this includes the tumor mutational burden, looking at the number of mutations per megabase of DNA, and that allows you to understand whether the patient might have a heightened uh, level of benefit from an immunotherapy drug, such as a PD-1 or a PD-L1 inhibitor. This doesn't mean that the patient has to have a high tumor mutational burden such as greater than 10 mutations per megabase in order to respond to these drugs, but it certainly is associated with a heightened level of response. Also seen in this section is the microsatellite uh, status. This is looking at repeats in the human genome and really is a measure of the overall integrity of protecting the genome. If the DNA is not well protected, if mutations are allowed to occur, this will allow a better response to the PD-1, PD-L1 uh, inhibitors uh, that can be used. Microsatellite instability is also associated with syndromes such as Lynch syndrome when it is seen in germline DNA. Um, and so it's an important consideration as uh, one is going forward to look at not only do the tumor mutations give us therapeutic options, but also do they have relevance to the patient's risk of additional cancers? Do they have relevance to the patient's family and loved ones in terms of additional risk that they could have that they might have inherited uh, from, from the family members? There's also a section that looks at clinical trial options. This is an important section, but often does not offer the opportunities that it seems. For example, there may be a great fit between the mutations found in a patient's tumor and the clinical trial that is listed, but there's other eligibility criteria such as second cancer, presence of brain metastasis, organ function that may uh, cause it so they are not eligible. Also, the clinical trials that are included in the report are often not geared to the geographic area that a patient may live in. And so trials may be listed where the patient is not able to get to them to, to partake. So overall, you, you have a mix of different types of mutational data, 
looking at therapeutic options, both on-label and off-label, at clinical trial options, and, and all those things kind of wrapped together to make uh, this report. The last piece is variants of unknown significance. These are variants where it's not clear exactly what to do with them. Some of these variants are benign and have no impact at all on risk of cancer, therapeutic response, etc. Some of these variants, we just don't yet know that they are important. And so we recommend looking at that section, understanding are these variants possibly pathogenic, possibly of relevance for therapeutics, because a therapeutic option that's listed on page 42 may not be evident to an oncologist who is used to reading just the first one or two pages of a Foundation One CDX report. But overall, it's an exciting way of trying to understand what are some therapeutic options that are not obvious for this patient. You're going to make a difficult decision and use an expensive therapy for a patient. Why not have one that can be driven by some objective data, such as the molecular profile? Now, hopefully you now understand a little bit more about how to use this report. But there still is a lot of complexity that, that exists. And there are options uh, out there, such as Clarify, which will allow you to get that extra bit of expertise that may not be available to you in your given practice setting. The goal is better therapy for our patients. And reports such as this allow you to look for options that would not necessarily have been on the top of mind and therefore give them that better shot of uh, a sustainable, uh, high quality life uh, that they're looking for.